Hello, I'm Karen Taylor and welcome to this tool selection demonstration brought to you by the Service Desk Institute. I'm joined by Chris from Heat. Hi Chris. Hi Karen. Could I ask, just give you a quick overview of you and your company? Yes, absolutely. My name is Chris Powell. Uh, I work for Heat Software. Heat Software provides both IT service management as well as unified endpoint management software. And from a, a, an approach point of view, what does Heat take from an account management? So the early engagement with your new client right the way through to continuing the support? So from the initial inquiry, our account execs will engage with the uh, prospect or new customer and also introduce solution architects to properly design their solution and map out their requirements prior to writing out what the solution may be. Now beyond that, we also have throughout that life cycle uh, customer success managers that ensure as a champion to the customer uh, that, uh, that that moves as smoothly as possible, but ongoing post, post the initial deployment, mm. um, they're an advocate to the customer. That's great, so you're really understanding the, your customer's requirements uh, and then putting the, the right stuff in place. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really interested in having a look at your, your tool in more, in more detail. So from a, a service desk manager's point of view, we have to deal with major instance. So you can demonstrate how the, your system management tool really would aid and provide that level of information to the desk manager? Yes, absolutely. So traditional uh, uh, major incidents will be the approach of identifying a major disruption to the organisation. Uh, but by doing so, binding other peripheral incidents that are related to that mm -hmm. for efficient closure. Now with Heat Software, we go beyond that. So this is an example of uh, uh, an incident within heat, uh, heat service management where it, we have identified this, uh, it, just for um, dem demonstration purposes, a major incident. Um, it's related to uh, VPN connectivity. So what we provide is um, a mechanism as we type the, the relation, uh, the, the, the relative information about the issue, um, heat will dynamically match two items on the right hand mm -hmm. side such as what we saw there. In this case we may have remote access or these related VPN connectivity issues. So that proactively identifies uh, a much broader issue underlying and therefore it warrants this incident to be uh, represented mm -hmm. as a major incident. Now on the traditional sense of linking to uh, multiple child incidents, we can see that here. So we've got efficient li linking capabilities and aut automations to identify such uh, VPN connectivity issues in this instance that could be uh, logged by other service desk analysts. Now upon the re successful resolution of this uh, major incident, such as maybe if we're carrying out a firewall reset as we see here, upon the resolution, so if I uh, uh, set this as a resolved state, and uh, save that incident, it will proactively resolve the related That's underpinning um, uh, incidents that reside beneath, okay? Smashing. And how do I get to the real-time analytic data? Well, Heat actually provides customers with more than one choice. So traditional service desk interfaces we may have a single uh, mm. reporting solution. At the most uh, basic sense or rudimentary form, we have our dashboards. Again, it's all fully configurable via drag and drop um, wizard based approach. Our dashboards convey interactive uh, analytics such as charting capabilities that we see there on pie charts and bar charts to drill into underpinning processes. But each uh, image can be exported to a file and or printed off. If it's in listed format, we can print that off in various uh, guises into Excel or uh, printouts on that basis. So that's dashboard management, which is really good for ad hoc reporting. Further up the uh, sort of maturity curve of focus of the customer, is our analytic metrics, also built with uh, you know completely codelessly drag and drop uh, capabilities. But this uh, pr uh, provides a much more mature output. Uh, and as you can see here, with bar charts, um, we can provide multi-access outputs, gauges, uh, as well as um, this supports threshold alerts as well. So upon the desk um, hitting a certain ceiling of number or volume, then we can act upon that proactively to maybe either send out a simple email to the business or um, identify there could be a, a bigger problem at bay. Now we also offer um, a, a more traditional reporting sense. So we've gone with SQL Server reporting. It's uh, one of the leading standards, but we it, tightly integrate with SQL Reporting Builder to actually uh, build, allow the customers to build these templates further. Uh, each one of these templates 
can be branded. So if we go with uh, an example one here, we can see the content allows multiple charts to reside within one A4 sheet of paper, if you mm -hmm. put it uh, in, in, in simple terms. The other benefits of these reports is that we have a, a, a varying level uh, ability to export, such as to CSV, to Word documents, PDF, and the like, okay? Now, the final uh, benefit of our reports using this approach is each one of these reports can be scheduled out on a periodic basis, such as first thing to Monday morning, issue that to you via email, such as to a PDF document, or even have it uploaded to your customer's portal mm. interface as well. I really like that feature because I know as a, as a desk manager, I get exact report when I want it with the right information in the right format. So that's really good. And I think there's a, an awful lot of pressure on service desk managers to deliver more business value, but without add into any more resource. Is there something in your tool that can really help and benefit us in that position? Absolutely. So if I move to our um, self-service interface here, we can see examples of that very thing. So it, w what we're trying to do is make a shift towards being a business enabler, not mm -hmm. an IT-centric yeah. solution. So here on the left-hand side, we can see that we have services pre-configured for facility management, for HR, as well as for IT services uh, on that basis. So we, we're providing these examples, actually over 80 of these templates, each of which have uh, their unique designs, screen designs for the user. Nice, rich experience for them, but coupled for the business, there's automation unique to each service right. type. You're getting some real value, aren't you, from, from buying the product? The return of investment is immediate yeah, from this point really of view. Good. And what's your killer feature? The killer feature is actually within this uh, element here in regards to a service catalog and such. So for instance, if I move us into the realms of the traditional IT support, um, as I mentioned, Heat is both an ITSM vendor and a unified endpoint management. And what that means is we're able to maintain the software landscape and hardware landscape within uh, the mm. state of your organization and, and the, the settings therein. In this example of a software installation request, Cindy could be representing up here as a, a manager. And if I identify one of her colleagues, such as we have Marcia here, now our ability to integrate with the uh, CMDB, which is a configuration management mm -hmm. database or the traditional IT asset database. Um, here, for instance, I can request for this, for this employee to have temporary use of software or permanent use. And then we can choose which software type we'd like to deploy um, to that uh, customer as well. Mm -hmm. Now, behind this scene, we don't just carry out the automation of that software with our integrated uh, offering. So what we can see here, we, we provide our customers with an automated graphical uh, process engine. Uh, it's our workflow engine where our processes always start from the start block area here. Everything we can see uh, within is actually introduced from the left-hand side, mm. so it's completely codeless. But our routing mechanism allows us to set the approval process that we can see here to onwardly, upon approval, it will route up this way to actually integrate with our client management tool mm. for the software delivery itself. So we provide a whole holistic view of software autom or sort of service automation mm. for the customer. And finally, what three words best describe Heat? We're flexible, we're affordable, and we're complete. Mm. We're flexible for our delivery options for our customers, whether they want their solution natively designed to be in the cloud mm. or on-premise, or a mixture of the two. We're affordable because we provide multiple commercial packages, such as uh, the uh, perpetual licensing, so you're owning own your mm. solution forever, or the more pay-as-you-go subscription license model. And we're complete in that we provide a very broad ITSM solution but integrated with our unified endpoint solution to uh, remediate your service delivery and your software delivery, but also secure your software environment. That's great. I think that's I mean, a really good, useful overview of your system today. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Chris.